Unlimited 8K RAW on the Canon R5. Yes, I have proven it, I have done it. Let's talk about what it means and how you can get it done for yourself. Okay, I've been doing a lot of tests on the Canon R5 and ways to basically unlock this incredible little camera and get around those terrible, <laughs> pesky, overheat things that just drive me nuts about it. And I found a way to get unlimited 4K HQ recording from this camera that let me record for literal hours without it ever overheating. I could literally just run this thing forever. And the key to this was that. I had to cut off the LCD and the viewfinder and only do an external signal to my Atomos Ninja 5. And I could get unlimited 4K HQ recording on that recorder. Absolutely amazing, <laughs> it just completely blew me away. And at the time, I wanted to see if I could do 8K RAW. And while I could set my camera to 8K RAW and export a signal and it didn't overheat, it wasn't actually exporting a full 8K signal because Canon didn't allow that at the time. That has all changed with the release of Canon firmware upgrade 1.4.0, which now allows 8K RAW <laughs> I <laughs> can't believe it, out of this HDMI output to a recorder. And the cool thing is this, the Ninja 5 cannot do it, but the Ninja 5 Plus does allow 8K raw recording through the HDMI port. Now, I was so intrigued by this, I went ahead and rented, spent my own money, and I rented an Atomos Ninja 5 Plus to see if I could still get unlimited 8K raw recording using the same method I did for the 4K HQ. Now, before I go into the test, I wanna tell you what my settings are, just so you know, because you're gonna probably ask me how I did it. The first thing I did is I'm setting up here in a garage that's not climate controlled. The ambient air temperature was 81 degrees. I also wanted to make sure that when I was doing this, the autofocus was working continuously just to push the camera as hard as I could. I set the camera on face detect autofocus. I set it on a movie and I basically had, for the entire time I did this, had the autofocus hunting for the entire time I was running just to prove that the autofocus would not overheat the camera. Now, usually I do do a test like this with dummy batteries, but as it so would happen, the weekend that I got this, my dummy battery for my Canon R5 broke, so I couldn't use a dummy battery. I had to use internal batteries. Now, as I was doing this test as it ran, if a battery ran out, I would switch it, and that's pretty much how we went there. I have a four terabyte solid state drive here in my Atomos, and I just let it go. Now, I actually did do a test at first, and my timer screwed up, so I was absolutely brutal with this. I only gave this camera a 30 minute cool down after running for an hour and a half, and then started the next test that you're going to see. So let's go ahead, take a look at the test, and I think you're gonna be awesomely surprised at what this sucker can do, 8K RAW on the Canon R5 and the Ninja V Plus. So let's go ahead, take a look. Okay, so as you can see here, this is an absolutely really great test. You can just see the Canon R5 is cranking along. That is an 8K Pro res signal going on autofocus in full crank out mode. Now, one thing that I found really cool here was I was getting longer battery times internally than I did originally. I don't know if that was from the firmware update or not, but you can see here, I got a really good amount of time. I recorded almost two hours on one internal camera battery. And this is where it gets really interesting. I pop out my battery here, and if you look, what's really, really cool, look at the overheat warning. When I pop out my battery, my LCD and my EVF had to come on. Now the camera had been exporting an 8K raw signal for over two hours at this point. And if you look, I'm getting an overheat warning and look at that number. It says zero, 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 zero. It's telling me I have no more time left on this camera. Well, what better test than this, right? I put the battery back in kept on recording, and check this out, guys. Even with the camera telling me I was overheating and had no time left, I continued to record for another two hours. And look at that, four hours of continuous 8K raw recording. Okay, did you just see that? Because that was four hours of 8K raw recording that I got 
from the Canon R5 up here to this Ninja 5 Plus. <laughs> it's just absolutely amazing. I was so exciting. It tells me that this hack works. If you have a Canon R5, this hack just works. Now, just like on my 4K HQ test, there's some very, very important parameters you need to set up on your Canon R5 if you wanna get this unlimited 8K recording. The first one is this. You need to basically come in and make sure that you set your LCD and your viewfinder to cut off within three minutes of recording. What will happen? You can set it up, get your things going for the first three minutes, and then at three minutes they will cut off and then it'll be just a signal going to your camera. If you do not do this, you cannot make this work. That is a key, you have to make that work. Now there are some very, very important caveats about using this method and where you can use it and where you can't. And really this comes down to this. If you have to do this method, you have to remember you cannot have your back LCD or viewfinder on, which really limits the places you can use this as a practical solution. So who is this for? If you do a lot of concert videography, if you do a lot of performances, if you're doing interviews, this could work great. Those are places you can set the camera up once, let it go, and not have to move it or change it or keep repositioning stuff. It's perfect for that. And the great thing about this, let's say you are a concert videographer. You can go and set this thing up and have 8K raw concert footage that gives you so much ability to punch in when you're doing it. It's almost like having two cameras in one because of that extra resolution. It's a really, really nice thing. The same thing if you're, if you're doing performances or if you're doing long-term like interviews, you can have that extra camera angle in your interviews. It's really nice to know. And let's be honest, the image just looks beautiful once you get it. Now where this is not useful is if you have situations where you have to move the camera a lot, where you're more mobile, that's not going to work. If you have to use your LCD and viewfinder often, which I find it's very use needed for cinematic work, documentary type work, commercial work, music videos, that stuff doesn't work for me. I cannot use this hack then, so you're limited in where you can use it. It's a very specific type of hack but it does exist and I wanted you to know that. The other cool thing about this that I'm gonna do another video of, you can actually set your camera into crop mode and get 5K raw, which I haven't heard anybody talk about, but I thought that was really cool. And yes, you can shoot 5K unlimited the same way you can for that. So it's really one of those things that it's an amazing feature to be used in certain instances, not others, but just knowing that it's there is a really, really cool thing. <laughs> I just had to share that with you because unlimited 8K raw is just an incredible thing for camera coming at this price point. Anyway, guys, I hope that was helpful for you. Please leave me any questions if you have any notes about this. I'd love to hear from you. Yeah, and I'll talk to you soon.